Hello, welcome back to the Friends of Zeus podcast. This is episode 192. It's our Halloween spooktacular. <laughs> um, tonight, we're all going to kind of host the show. Um, Tom is going to kind of guide us, though, with the reveals. Um, and let's get going. Uh, Tom, who do you want to go first? Well, I guess it should be me since I'm going to be quasi hosting as you guys reveal one by one. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll go started. second. Unless you want to go second. Do you want to go second? Sure. I'll go second. I'll go third. Well, Desiree, do you want to go third or fourth? I don't care. Okay. I'll go third. Desiree can go fourth. Des is team player. Yeah, man. All, All right. right. Give me a drum roll, please. Like, really? Yeah. I don't know if something. you can hear it. Just go. Brrrr. Brrrr. Hello. Oh my gosh. Oh my I'm gosh. Mike Lundell. That's so I've funny. got my pillow. Please buy my pillow. I don't think that's the right accent. Right. Yes. <laughs> but it's good. Um, um I love it. <laughs> that is fantastic. I've got these pillows. Please buy one. I need everybody to buy one. I've got Listen, no money left. They're fucking good pillows. You should get do you have a my pillow? No. The they price came good. down to like fourteen eighty eight. I was thinking of getting really? one. Really? I have one. Yeah. They're great. Best pillow I ever had. They stay cool. How's it look? Yeah, they're good. You can get one from me. They're I, I, used already. This side is warm, a little bit wet, the... but they're good. Prices are dropping. 99 cents. You can get this one. Do you have any of those Giza dream sheets available? Or Crocs? Doesn't he do Cro <laughs> Yeah, we got slippers. We've got PJs. We've got everything. It makes everything nowadays. I'm How did you come up with this costume? That's a good one. I, I don't know. I just thought of it. <laughs> See, notice the eyebrows yeah. know, and good. the mustache. No, I'm noticing them. It's fantastic, Tom. <laughs> I mean, Mike. Mike. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love it. All right. I'm going to have to hold this pillow the entire show, though. Is my phone still on? Okay. Uh -oh. I'm going to let me. I'm going to start off with Zeus here. I got to do some technical. Okay. I'm going to turn on the screen, right? Yep. Hold on. And then. Let me make sure I can see them. And uh, your phone just shut off. So you're... Wait, wait. Okay, you can come in. You can start the music, and I'll just move my hand. No, because I want to walk in. Okay. So don't, don't. Okay. I'm going to hide behind my phone. Is it? Man, that's uh, that's William Shatner. That's who they said they designed the mask after. Yeah, they, it was like a William Shatner mask inside out, and that's a real knife, so be careful. Although it's not really too sharp, just like us, and it's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Well, we didn't get to hear the music, it didn't play. Oh, it didn't play. I mean, we didn't hear it. I didn't anyway. Yeah, I didn't come across. And just had just add it in post. Yeah, I think you'll have to. Yeah, we can do that. All right. So um this one is gonna be a. you have to have seen probably last week's episode to really appreciate this one. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to step aside here because we have a guest that's going to come on. They they had some comments about last week's episode. They wanted to clear the air a little bit. It's the moon. <laughs> this what is that? I was watching this episode last week. You guys were making fun of my flags. 
This oh, is... yes. <laughs> okay. I've been looking. The flag's for... waving. Wait a minute. What? That flag's waving. Yeah, well, it is. Uh, it's held up. I is got... there a vent? Is there a what? Is there a vent by you making that flag wave? No. Well, I'm just waving. No, I was just joking. It's not. It's so... steady as a rock. Can you see? Like, yeah. are those our real eye holes? Yes, they are real eye holes. Oh, I thought you had like sunglasses in there. So I do, but oh. There's holes on you guys are this is the moon, man. Listen. <laughs> How many I'm times here, you get to talk to the moon? I've Colin. been looking down and you guys have a lot of stuff going on that and I've been seeing a lot. I saw dinosaurs, I've seen asteroids hit the earth, but you guys have some crazy stuff you're dealing with. So I just came down to visit, let you know that I still have this one flag here. I'd appreciate if you guys stopped doing that. I think one's plenty. It's moving. It does hurt a little bit. When you guys put that in there, can I turn sideways? Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm the moon. Yeah, don't show us your dark side. But your skin no. is cleared up quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> I know. Where's that all that acne? <laughs> well, you know, as you get older, your skin uh, kind of repairs itself a little bit. Okay, right, well... I'm going to make a new uh, <laughs> pillow shaped, uh, a moon shaped pillow. Oh, that's a moon pillow? One. Yeah. I like that idea. Twenty nine ninety nine. Those are coming out next month. You didn't put any blood on your knife. Ooh, not yet. He hasn't not killed yet. anybody yet. Oh. Okay. Well, mine isn't that cool. I mean, it looks cute, but um, it's not creative like you guys. Is uh, how do I work this? Boo. Oh, oh. man. That's awesome. nice. That's the day of the dead. Well, it's just a regular skeleton. Yeah. But sure. That's cool. Is that a wig uh -huh. or did you color your hair? It's a wig. It's not really cooperating with me very much right now either, but are there shiny things? Like uh like bedazz did you bedazzle your head? I did. I had to glue them on individually. Okay, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. The moon approves. Very cool. nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Do you, do you have a name for that uh Contraption. Me? Yeah, your costume. It's just a skelly. Skelly, okay. Skeletor, I don't know. Dead inside. <laughs> I feel like I've been going through some phases lately. And, uh, some, some solar system jokes there. Lunar jokes. Lunar humor, as we call it. Lunar humor. Mm -hmm. There's a lack of gravity in this situation. See, if you can't see the moon's mouth, then you have to use your hands more. Like, I feel like <laughs> Trump or somebody. Well, Kamala does that, too. Yeah. <clears throat> this I don't make... know about you guys, but I feel stuffed. <laughs> so it's really funny. Um... I don't know if this is funny, but uh, Zeus, my son wants to be for Halloween this year. He wants to be, he wants me to get a hot dog costume mm -hmm. and wear a Michael Myers mask with it so uh -huh. he can be Oscar Meyer. Oh, <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. Didn't he, didn't he um, like go crazy because the mask was suffocating him in the movie? I want to say that's what it was. No, what? I think he was evil from the beginning. <laughs> Remember, he started out with like a clown costume. Whoa. All right. So what's everyone's plans for Halloween? I'm going to hang around. It's, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be full for Halloween. I think I'm going to be kind of like a sliver. But uh, what are you guys, what's your plans? Are you going to be a waning crescent? Yeah. Or a waxing crescent. That's what my wife's been saying. Jack says to start if you have and I'll hop in. Oh, oh yeah. Well he's gonna have to hop in without the camera on. <clears throat> All yeah, right. So I'll be home for Halloween. So I'll be doing candy this year. Are we gonna do spooky stories? Or are we gonna do Halloween stories? Or are we gonna do creepy stuff? To work on I've Halloween. Got a couple things. Did you get something, Desiree? 
Um, oh, yeah, I was going to share all the candy myths with everyone. That's cool. Candy myths. You know, all the... Like the razor birds? Urban legends and, yeah. Okay. Desiree, can I start? Like, can you look, like, order profile? Because you got... Oh, okay, yeah, you got that on your cheeks. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, my face is really itchy, actually, right now, but I'm really trying not to itch it. If I turn sideways, the whole illusion is... <laughs> 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 I was looking for, like, a big... The moon has been putting on some LBs. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Just stop sending people up here, man. I'm getting tired of it. Moon, I have a question. Yes. Are you really made of cheese? <laughs> yes. And are you hollow? It's This is a Philly cream cheese wrapper. Gross. On my surface. Gross. I hate cream cheese. Cream cheese is good. Cream I cheese is cream for cheese. homos. Cream cheese is a good ingredient for stuff. Um, it is that I'll agree to, but I, on on a bagel, never, not in a million years. Yeah, not inside of a pillow. Yeah. So <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. Um, I um, often make the joke at Halloween is um that I'm gonna k- take a pillow and a blanket and be a nap. <laughs> I like that. But that's so that's good. So I'll tell you what: when Jack gets back on, we'll do the music again, just because he is gonna love this costume. So, Lindell, is that one of your pillows, or is that a knockoff? This, like, this is the original. That's the original. Yeah, this is my pillow. That's <laughs> get it. <laughs> that is the very first. My pillow has tears of shame in it. Does yours? <laughs> Come look at the screen, dude. I love, I love that outfit. That is fantastic. Hello there, little boy. <laughs> If you get in closer, it'll give you a mustache. Holy shit, he's got a thicker mustache than you, Mike. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so the mustache is just a video filter. You know, um, there's some people that think I'm hollow, but you hear that? That's pretty solid. Some people think I'm an alien space station that was put into orbit around Earth. That's not a moon. My circumference is a quarter that of the Earth. <laughs> He's just going to hit us with moon facts. You time. got more moon facts in there. <laughs> I don't know, man. You guys sent those Chinese people up here lately. Took pictures of my rear end. I don't appreciate that very much. <laughs> Try to keep people away from back there. Oh, you got moon farts? Oh, yeah. You better believe it. All right. So you want to start with the candy stuff? or Yeah, we can talk about candy. All right. yeah, man. Okay, first of all, everyone loves candy, right? Yeah. If you don't love candy, I mean, you're dumb. Because candy's great. <laughs> so there are some folks that have tried to deter children from all the fun of candy on Halloween, I guess, over the years. I mean, this has been going on for a while. I mean, raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by parents trying to check your candy at Halloween. Oh, motherfuckers. Check the candy. And they don't. They don't. They fucking take it into their room and they eat eat it. it. Yeah, they they pick out all good shit that they want to eat for themselves instead of just asking nicely. I mean, Neptune always gives out apples, which just pisses me off because who wants to eat an apple? Saturn, two candies every year. It's very nice. Who does Mars just like maybe the sun? Maybe Mars just leaves the candy on the porch. No chocolate. Yeah, no they can't have any chocolate on Mars. Now Saturn does those he, ring. Pops, no, he's the moon. Yes. Saturn does the ring pops, right? Oh, that's right. That's a good one, Mike. Maybe Uranus <laughs> leaves candy on the porch because no one wants to go to their house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. So um, the main things that have, I, I'm i sure that y'all have heard the same um, little tidbits about checking the candy. It's they've got to check for drugs and they have to check for needles. Oh, yeah. Shit in the candy that people be putting in there. Anything else they're checking for, do you know, of? Well, you need psilocybin. Wow. I, I toss out like anything that's not sealed. Like I don't like like lollipops that are just kind of loosely wrapped sort of thing i don't like anything 
Yeah. I only like the candy if it's like got a nice seal, like a Snickers bar. He's Mike Lindell. He's pretty loosely wrapped. He's yeah. No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't check the candy. You don't? Oh because I'm a terrible parent. But it's natural mainly because really? maybe because it's um there is nothing to check for, y'all. But in in the thing is in all these years, there never really has been like the razor blade thing, right? No, we're going to talk about that right now. Okay. So, Both over the years, it's the drugs and the needles. Okay? These are the stories that have caused that hysteria to go around. I'm about to tell you them. Okay. Um, in 1970, there was a five-year-old boy who died in Detroit after finding, um, or after eating a, a um, pixie stick that had, that was quote unquote laced with drugs. Hmm. Um but it came out later that actually um the uncle knew that he found the heroin and um tried just put it in the pixie sticks after the fact to try to cover it up like he got it from somebody's house, not his own house. So oops. <laughs> and then in 1974 there was a, a boy in Texas that died after he ate cyanide laced candy that his father That's tried to say that um, came from Halloween trick-or-treating. But he actually did it. He put the um, can oh, the, the um, cyanide in the candy because they were having freaking money problems. And until his oldest time, he tried killing his kid because he wanted the life insurance money. Oof. Who has life yeah. insurance on their kids? Yeah, that's not good. So how old was this kid? That's not true. I have life insurance policies on my kids. You do? I don't know how old the guy was. It was an eight-year-old kid. Eight years old. That's um, a a two-year-old boy died in Flint, Michigan after eating Halloween candy. However, toxicology reports found no evidence of poison and determined his death was due to natural causes. Too much. <laughs> what natural causes? Is that a two-year-old? Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't say the right. natural causes, but there was no evidence of poison found. Too much sugar. Exactly. Too much excitement. Um, <laughs> along with that, in 1990, there was another girl who died after eating Halloween candy, but it was also, um, it was found also in her toxicology report that they had no um, poison, traces of poison, um, but it actually found that she was, um, she had an enlarged heart and died of sudden cardiac death. Hmm. Jeez. Um, in 2001, a four-year-old boy in Vancouver, British Columbia, died after eating Halloween candy. However, it was found that she did not have any traces of poison in her system, and she died of a strep infection. So it really hasn't happened. No. Um, there was a... Mm, where's the one about the needles? Um, there... Yeah, needles and razor blades were the big yeah. story back in the late seventies, I think. It's just so creepy. You know, um, have you guys ever gotten the? You know, the, those things, the chick tracks. They're like the, like, um, based on like Book of Revelations. They're like, oh Christian, yeah, 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 the like, little tiny books, the little tiny cartoon books that tell you you're a sinner and you can't be saved. And you're gonna burn in hell, and they always have like these horrible illustrations of people burning in hell and stuff. No, you guys I've never those? seen that. Mm. Oh yeah, I don't think they do it anymore. Oh, you mean with uh, as a trick or treat thing? Yeah, the trick or treat. Yeah, I used to get those. I mean, Michael did, yeah. not me. I'm the moon, but <laughs> Mike Lindell. Mike Lindell. I'm yeah. confused. Yeah. Mike Myers. <laughs> did you guys yeah, know I used to just carry a pillow a pillowcase for my Halloween candy? Can you believe that? That, I, that is amazing. That makes a sense. Ever I since I was a little mean, uh, a little Lundell, I used to. Things used to are a little more lunar humor here. That, um, you know, I'm spending the the day down here on Earth. It's pretty heavy down here. It's a lot more heavy than where I'm from. A lot more gravity around. Oh, here. flags are just waving all over the place down here. Yeah. All right, here's some more. Here's some more candy myths. So in 1959, a California dentist, William Shane, gave candy coated laxative pills out to trick or treaters. So he actually did. He did administer drugs to trick or treaters, but 
they relax. So there's no death. That's force. not administration. That's that's dosing. That's Definitely. so um no children it's were just killed. A joke. He wasn't trying to like really hurt anybody, right? Yeah, he was just joking. Um in 1964, uh -huh. a disgruntled this is the this, this is the only actual documented case of poison being given to children. You ready? In 1964, a disgruntled Long Island woman gave out packages of inedible objects to children who she believed were too old to be trick or treating. The package contained items such as steel wool, dog biscuits, and ant buttons, which were like, you know, those little poisonous ant, ant houses. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they were clearly labeled. I mean, they were poison. Oh. Had the poison symbol on them. Though <laughs> nobody was injured, she was prosecuted and guilty and pleaded guilty to endangering children. Nobody ate the poison. What? Because they're not stupid. Yeah. Isn't that a trick, though? If you ask for a trick, but still, or a treat. I mean, she was, it was a joke. <laughs> like she didn't hurt anybody there was um there was a i can't find it in, anymore but i the one i read about the needle there was um it was a needle that they put in like the candy apples but it was um nobody died and it, the kid sustained uh, minor injuries to the roof of his mouth and he got the guy that gave it to him was just uh it was a mental health situation so, wow. hmm. so that actually, did actually happen so that did actually like happen it. but it wasn't given in it wasn't given out in a trick-or-treating situation like it was given out oh. on some other platform okay but yeah candy like gross and so is candy corn but i'll eat it what i like I i'll eat it <laughs> Dude, I like candy corn. It's awesome. It it's like eating wax with sugar. Yeah, they taste like crayons. Who's Steve? Good crayons. Jobs. Uh oh. Hey Jack. Steve. I don't know if you can hear us. So here's so here's here's the big question. What's your favorite candy at Halloween? Not your favorite candy ever. But specifically at Halloween that you may not have throughout the year, but at Halloween you're having it. Any mm -hmm. candy bars, butterfingers. I don't think I've ever bought a butterfinger my whole life. But I do like a butterfinger at Halloween. But at Halloween, I just I love them. They get stuck in your teeth. They're fantastic. I either try to trade those or just throw them in the trash. Oh man, hold on to them. <laughs> I'll mail them to I you. Like <laughs> I, I do like, not um, like Butterfingers. The Fun Dip. Oh! That you get. The bomb. And I have never purchased a Fun Dip in my life. I've never been like, I want some Fun Dip. So you steal Fun Dips? But I'll eat the Fun oh, Dip, because no, huh? there's only like one flavor. You don't have the whole Fun Dip situation right. going on. And most of the time, I I just eat the like the candy cigarette part of it. but Because that's good. Candy cigarettes. I will say... The moon recommends straws for your mug. Mm -hmm. makes, paper uh, straws makes drinking. I hate bit. paper straws; it's the worst. Normally, I don't use straws. You don't have to worry about environmentalism up on the moon, do you? Uh, no, everything just drifts away. We don't have an atmosphere. Uh, you do have to worry about. Why is the flag you know, moving? Meteors. You're really. a liar, moon. You're a liar. Do you have? Do you have to worry about sunburns? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> I uh I use I use yes. SPF six thousand. That's why he's all white. He's just like lathered in the yeah, two hundred proof. Uh, I just smeared all the zinc. Zinc, mm. the zinc oxide. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Steve Jobs, we can hear you. Okay. Um. So you guys started already. Should I just hop in? Yeah. I guess. Yes, okay. Oh, wait, look at these costumes. I got to take this in. Okay, all right, here I come. Oh, hey, that's the Is Earth. Is that another moon? Oh. <laughs> another moon. <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> oh. Hey, Jack, this is for you. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really an honor to be here, guys. Thanks. Right. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Captain Happy America. Happy Halloween, Captain. No, just Captain. call me Steve. Is Captain uh, America's name Steve? Of course. I, I don't know. I didn't know. What planet are you living on? Uh, I'm just up in space. I'm helping knew. Nick Fury out. You know, he's always, he got in another jam. Oh, man. 
Yeah, I, may have to, I may have to close this window behind me. Hang on a second. Okay. Captain, he's off to another rescue. Fine, there he is. <laughs> I love it. Does he still have the A? Does he still have the A on the on the cow? In certain movies, yeah. Don't yeah, not it. anymore. Yeah, that's like original, man. Yeah, but we don't we don't talk about that. Anyway, my name is Steve. Hi, Steve. Okay, hey guys. Do you know Scoob Steve? Do I know what now? Scoob Steve, do you know him? No. Oh, no, I just I figured everyone with the name Steve knew each other or something. I don't know. Oh, I see. No, oh, I skeleton don't. Skeleton cat's coming over. Uh, He's well, you guys, you guys look little. great. You're blurry. There you go. Oh. Now you're better. So, 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 did you guys like introduce yourself? Sorry, I'm late. That's cool. Yeah, we we did. Okay. Well, you look person. awesome. What do What are we discussing tonight? We were just talking about candy. And we're going to talk about some spooky news stories later and anything else, man. That sounds great. My costume was for you, Jack. I figured you'd like it. I love it. I love it. I'm just trying to, you guys already explained them, so I don't want you to repeat yourselves, but I'm trying to figure <laughs> a couple of them out, especially. Um... I'm the moon. Oh, Last week we were talking about the flag on the moon. Of course, of course, it's not. Yeah, it doesn't hang down like a regular flag. I saw the whole discussion. Yeah, so this is the, the moon on the moon. I decided to pay a visit to you guys, uh, just to set the record straight. <laughs> Stop sending cows to jump over me too. It's getting annoying because they poop. That stinks. So it stinks on the moon. Is what you're saying? It's, wow. no it smells like cheese. Yeah, it's cream cheese. Well, um, Jack, if you were wondering, I glued all these jewels on my face individually. It's awesome. Wait, so what are you, Des? It's a skeleton face. No, I see that, but I, I thought it was some specific character. No, you look yeah. awesome. Yeah, put your... I mean, can you it be? I don't know a specific skeleton character. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just saw it, it at the costume store. And no, I, like, think, yeah, I think, I think you that. look awesome. And I, I totally can tell who Tom is, and that's fantastic. <laughs> You'd like to buy a pillow. Uh, oh, no. no I got Mike 10 million I, of these I need to get rid of. No, Mr. Do Lindell you... and I are very, very close, and I have uh, I, I get a free pillow whenever I need one. Do you have one? Really? So you do have a my pillow or of your course. pillow, I guess. It's jacked up. Good. It's Jack. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, we were just discussing what your favorite. Right the moon. Not like candy, but like that you would get at Halloween, but you usually don't get any other time of the year. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, are we talking favorite candy just in general? I oh, just yeah, said no, not no, general. No, yeah, not in general. Not in general. Uh, but that like you I could, you're only going to eat it at Halloween. Like, for example, at Easter, you're only eating Cadbury eggs at Easter. That's it. Oh, yeah. And jelly beans usually. Yeah, no, I totally get that. I get the example. I'm a Twix and Snickers guy, if you got to know. But if it was like a yeah, random, is a solid. if we're talking like a once a year, maybe the uh, maybe uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Uh, what? That's always. Oh, I have another one. Bottle caps. Oh. Nah. Uh, but only the flavored rolls. ones. Tootsie Rolls that you don't normally get throughout Tootsie the year. Tootsie Roll Pops is one that I never buy ever. But Halloween, I'll eat the shit out of those things. But not the root beer one because that's for fucking psychotic people. But you're Michael Myers. There's a root beer one? Yeah, you're Michael Myers. So. You are psychotic. Oh, he is. The mask will revisit, but it's a really sweaty mask. I'm pretty sure I know why you went crazy. It was the mask. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's totally the mask. I'm going to be handing out candy with this motherfucker. That's going to be a blast. You should, should just, just hide like, in the bushes and then hide, like put a piece of candy on the end of the knife and like hand it to them. <laughs> I, I was calling Mike. I was like, I was like, Mike, you got to meet me at your front door <laughs> with your camera ready and video because this is classic. 
It didn't work out. It didn't go as well as they thought. Oh, we'll get some get pictures it. afterwards. Yeah, we're going to take some pictures. Like me just standing randomly in his backyard. I got to get back up into this guy anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you got a while. It's not sunset or sun or whatever sunrise yet. Oh, no, no. We're, no. We, we're, we're good. We're good. Um, Candy, yeah. Probably. Tootsie Roll Pops is actually probably a lock. I... I don't eat lollipops in general, but oh, sprees! Wow. Ew! Pretty, that, that's oh, I love sprees. Sprees are awesome. And if 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 they really got class and they give you some, do you guys remember zots? No. They were like this hard candy, the but little... you got to the middle and it was, there was this powder, and it just like was like kind of bubbled a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's like sodium bicarbonate with some sour flavoring mm -hmm. to it, but. Oh, they were good. Remember Pop Rocks? Oh, I do love Pop Rocks. They killed Mikey from the Life Cereal Club. <laughs> they did not. <laughs> All of us Mikeys, we, we do know each other, and I know Mikey from Life Cereal. And I'm Mike. He's still alive. Hey, moon is Mike. Wow, we got three Mikes. Mike the Moon. Well. All right, you ready for the first weird story? Yeah, I got one, but I'm going to have to read it. Yeah, me okay. too. I'm going to share my screen. I don't know. I mean, this isn't really spooky per se. But uh, I just thought I saw this the other day. I thought it was kind of weird. Okay. Can you see this uh, picture? That's a man, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say something. This came up. This was interesting. So... This was a person that lived 9,000 years ago. They don't look bad. Right. She died in a, a cave near central Greece about 9,000 years ago. And they uh, reconstructed her face. And this is what they think she looked like. So she was from the Mesolithic era. And they think she was nine, uh, 18 years old when she died. One, one little known fact, uh, Mike, that I remember from this. She also uh, voted for Joe Biden during his first term. <laughs> for Senate. Yeah. He's Literally right. his first term. Yeah. Back in the Meso Mesolithia. Blah, blah, blah. I think she was the nanny before Jill Biden. Yes. <laughs> right? yeah. So about 9,000 years ago, this young woman died and buried in a cave. Archaeologists unearthed her bones. She's from the Mesolithic era. Uh, her name, precise age, cause of death, unknown. But thanks to meticulous facial reconstruction, we now have a pretty good idea of what she looked like. Um, the better name was like Sam or Pat. Or, or a person. Or Why, there. you think it's a, a man? It's a man face? I think this looks kind of, well, because the, the first story I saw, the reason I thought this was I saw her playing WNBA last week. <laughs> no, that ain't... <laughs> They said, you know, they the first time I saw it on, on the social media and they said, well, you can see how much humans have evolved since then. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, I've seen people that look like this walking yeah. down the street. This doesn't look like anything, uh, you know, yeah. from a long time ago in the evolution scale. So it does it say in that article who, what organization it was that created this facial reconstruction? Uh, the reconstruction was unveiled at the Acropolis in Greece. It was remarkably lifelike, revealing distinct details of the woman's facial structure, close-set eyes, strong jaw, high forehead. Experts who worked on the reconstruction estimate that she was around 18 years old when she died. Uh, they gave her the name Avgi, which means dawn in Greek. Uh, let me see. The I bones were found that? in Theopetra. Oh, this was interesting. It's an archaeological site. It's kind of like a cave dating back to the Neolithic area, era where um, footprints, <laughs> ashes, and stone tools and other bones were found in this particular cave dating back 45,000 years. Jeez. So talk about an old She doesn't house look a day living. over 44,999 years old. No, the cave that she lived in was that old. Oh. Not the, the, she's 9,000 years old. Well, the only reason I asked that is because, um, so that's why, well, not why, but that's one of the reasons, one of the cool things about the body farm. So I'm going to the body farm when I die 
Um, but what they do is they have you. No, don't die. Well, I'll tie some dates. The circle of life, you know, we live and we die. Um, well, the moon doesn't die. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll say nine thousand years old. That's pretty young. <laughs> well, <laughs> well um, they have you send like a bunch, like your uh, like when you say you can't just go to the body farm when you die. You can't just be like, yeah, just send me there. This is a process. So I had to apply. I had to like state my wishes. Have, it's a whole thing but mm. they ha part of it is they have you send like your like a bunch of pictures of yourself like fa like front facial and a bunch of profiles like what you look like like whole body pictures the way you stand like all sorts of pictures and because this is one of the things that they do there is um like 70 whatever and you know let's just say 75 years when after i die they're gonna get my pro like I'm going to be, a, like, my bones are going to be assigned to them, basically, my skull. And they, part of their, pro, like, work in their, in their, whatever, their thesis, maybe, is to recreate me. So, mm -hmm. like, they could, like, do that. So, if they could like when recreate. when they find the murdered women, like, for serial killers, and they, like, start putting clay to rebuild the face to see, to try oh. to identify the body. Yeah. That sort of thing. So, and so they can have a better, like, um, like, you know, you, you know how like they have um oh what's it called? How uh like when they're like, Oh, this person was missing and then they have like a drawing of them or something. Yeah. Right. But it's like they, not not really I mean it's close, but it's not can, really they can practice and check themselves. Yes. Exactly, yeah. I've never posed this question to you before. You're a pretty girl and mm -hmm. you're relatively fit. Have you ever considered the fact that you send these pictures to these people that work on a farm full of dead bodies and that they may be like oh yeah she's a goer no because what are they gonna do come get me i don't give a shit yeah. i mean i have social media that i post pictures on all the time so whatever well i actually don't post anymore but um but yeah so then you keep sending so like in 10 years if i'm not dead yet i have to send another set of right. pictures yeah that's what i was saying because they want current I'm, pictures yeah if tw in 20 years if i'm still alive another set of pictures that's pretty, so that's pretty cool what they can is do local? is it like you know like what part of town you're gonna end up or like what no state? i'm at the university of tennessee oh university of tennessee okay hmm. Hmm. yep interesting yeah i can so, see my organs cool i don't have a scary story but i have a question because it feels like this urban legend has gone everywhere everybody's got this urban legend has any do you guys all have in your area the bunny man story? You mean the monkey man? Okay, oh, man. well, probably <laughs> the same thing. Well, I don't think so. What's that? So in Virginia, there's always they call it the Bunny Man Bridge. Does that sound right to you, Mike? Uh, I bet you've heard it. I have not. We have something called Theorosis Bridge. But continue. What's that? So the bunny man is just this guy that was wearing a bunny costume. And the Bunny Man Bridge was kind of one of those old bridges with the wood awning over top and it's covered bridge. Yeah, covered bridge. And you'd see him at the end and people just <laughs> hear. But I had always I had always heard that the that legend, like every city in America has the Bunny Man story. But maybe Monkey Man is one and <laughs> along the same lines. Like Echo and the Bunny Man. Or bunny men. You guys have heard of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's where it that name comes from is the bunny man story. Anyway, I was just curious if you guys had had similar stories in your area about about the serial killer wearing a bunny costume. I but mean, I guess not. Well, that one, but a lot yeah, of no, the stories do go like from town to like the woman in white. Every every town has a story about a woman in white. <laughs> That tries to hitchhike and you they tell you not to pick her up if you see her. Oh, oh, we don't got that either. Yeah, I never, never heard, heard that one. That. All right. The uh when I was in high school, the town I lived in had a had a covered bridge on uh Jericho. Wait, as the moon when you were in high school? I mean when Michael was in high school, he told me <laughs> a story once that there was a covered bridge on Jericho Road. And um if you drove across it and stopped in the middle of it at night and turned out your lights, there was supposed to be someone like hanging from a noose in the middle of the 
spam. Did you ever do mm. it? Oh, yeah. No, I never <laughs> saw anything, but yeah, I did that all the time. So we have a we have ours is Theorosa's bridge. So Theorosa was a lady that she was driving and something happened to her car. Maybe it was a flood. Mm. Maybe that was it. I can't. I don't. There's so many like. I mean, who if you ask anyone, they'll have a different story. But somehow she uh died. Is it like and, you? Huh? Go off the bridge. Beetlejuice. No, I don't think she, I don't, I don't think that she went off the bridge. I just think that she, um, because somehow some, her baby was stolen. Yikes. Maybe I should like Wikipedia this story. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. She died and she wants her baby back is the situation. Baby back, baby back, but baby if, back. If you go, <laughs> if you go to this bridge and you say, Thea Rosa, I have your baby. Thea Rosa, I have your baby. Thea Rosa, I have your baby. Apparently, she's supposed to, like, start haunting the shit. I don't know. I've never gone to the bridge and done it, but, I mean, it's not really that far from my house. There's another one of the... Have you guys ever... You know about the Bloody Mary? Yeah. I never went to the bathroom and turn the lights out and you say Bloody Mary three times into the mirror, and then you'll see her. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. I've never that seen one. her. I've done that though. I've never seen her. Have you well, yeah, ever... you're all you're also not supposed to do that and say like the word Candyman three times because <laughs> then he'll come get you. I've heard I've heard of that one. I think we got some victims. Two two have dropped off. Oh no. Um, oh, have no, you here. have you heard uh Moon, get out of here. Hmm, man, I forgot shit. All right. No, I forgot I was going that. For a minute. Oh, there's there, there's Mike. Yeah, I just Mike's kicked back for a minute. You, you don't want to be the moon anymore? Oh, I what? I'm not the moon. What are you talking <laughs> about, Des? No, the moon's just, just taking... turn the camera back on with your pants down. Who's is who's <laughs> moon is going to have a smoke? He'll be back. Yeah, no, I I heard a spooky story similar to what Desiree mentioned. It, I it was it comes out of Mexico. And I, I think the legend is her name is 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 La Lorna. I think they even made a movie out of it recently. But the legend is similar. Like, but what happened in that case is she was so heartbroken about the, her lover that left her for another woman. And uh, this was her husband. And so she actually drowned her own children because she got into such a fit of depression. She- and um and then, you know, obviously she went completely, she was completely crazy. And, um, and I think she killed herself. Jeez, and suppo- wow. and supposedly, you know, the story that they teach little children about, you know, going off into like, you know, wherever is like that you'll hear her wailing and she's trying to come and reclaim children. Like it, it was something like that. It's just pretty cool, spooky story. It's very spooky. Have y'all yeah. messed ever messed with the Ouija board? Yes. Yeah that that yeah. was actually that was my spooky story. That oh, was the Ouija okay. board. Let's hear it. Uh, well, when I was a teenager back in the day, um, well, let's. I had a friend, and uh, we'll just say his name is is Bucky. Anyway, so my friend <laughs> and I, we were uh, we had a we got a hold of um of my dad's Ouija board, and we used to mess around with it all the time. And I was with this friend and it was just the two of us. And we were like, OK, let's be serious now. And we had it like out like, you know, we were out and about. It was nighttime. I remember what we were basically there's a there's an alley in my hometown and it was nighttime. And we just kind of set it up on like a bucket or something. And we just did it. And we started communicating with the spirit of a woman. And I honestly can't remember if her name was like Emily or Abigail because it was so long ago. I think it was Abigail, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, so we were kind of wrapping things up and we started talking to this woman spirit and we said, hey, we, we need to go. We need to go back home because it was getting late. Um, and we asked it, do you want to continue speaking with us? And she said, yes. And so we brought the Ouija board back home. And this is actually, um, well, hang on a second. Oh, there I am. <laughs> this is actually here in the uh, where I am now um at 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 my folks place yeah and ever since then 
you can hear things in in this apartment coming yeah. from the apartment. coming and right because we basically we brought the Ouija board home we went into my room um and we started to continue to to mess with it and then eventually i don't remember why we stopped you know i don't think we were mm. spooked but we had the candles going the lights off like maybe we did spook ourselves but ever since then like i can remember and it's not just me my 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 dad has corroborated it my mom my sister like you'd be sitting out in the living room and you would just hear like living sounds like a drawer open and close or someone sit down in a chair and you would you know obviously when this first started to happen you you'd kind of freak out and you'd go check it out and there's obviously there's nobody in there and to this day every now and then something weird will go make a noise in that room like something will either wow. fall for no reason or you'll hear like a ping or something in the closet will bang like something fell so, um do you think i you remember would... one night recently um i was here and uh and actually and my my lady was here with me and so this was recently and i remember looking down the hallway back toward the living room and i could only see what was in front of the hallway and um basically one of the dog toys a ball just rolled into into view for no oh, reason my... There, the dog wasn't even here. We were house sitting. Stuff right there, man. Yeah. So, so that that's one story with the Ouija board. And to this day, like that was very recently. But there's never been any problem with the spirit. Like, you know, it, nothing. Like it, nothing bad has happened. And right. we think that the spirit just said, "Okay, I'm going to stay here now" because it yeah. followed us home. You just opened the door. Yeah. But not an evil spirit. Just. Uh, I don't. No, I don't think so at all. But oh, it's exists. still spooky. Wow. Not one of those bougie spirits has got to like cause all kinds of problems. Yeah. Well, I don't spirit. um have any spooky spirit stories, but um <clears throat> that I mean I do, but I've never seen any thing move. Or I remember and it wasn't Halloween, but one of my weird was, like <laughs> Tessa Ray was going. She was huh? about to tell us something. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Go ahead. No, no, no. I don't, no, get, no. I don't want to get murdered over here. That was my story. Here. Done. <laughs> well, I was just going to say how people like I, but I deal with a lot of people that die. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really strange, like how they, I mean, <laughs> I don't have, this is all anecdotal. I don't have any proof, but yeah. I know what I see. And every time someone dies that like, they they aren't necessarily like on comfort care or like whatever because they've already done their bid or whatever. But if somebody is like not doing well, but they haven't, they're not really showing signs of they're gonna die like right now. Like, the, and they they will literally say, "I don't, I don't think I'm gonna live through the night." Wow, hmm. that is like one thing. Like, boom, no, they they will and they do die. It's so crazy. Really? Or they'll or they'll say something like. Um, they'll kind of just look over in the corner and they're like, who's in the corner? Mm -hmm. um, nobody's in the corner. Who who do you see in the corner? Michael. Oh, Slick. well, Jesus is over there. Jesus is not over there. <laughs> no, he is. <laughs> but when they say that, they're dying. That that night. I mean, it, it, it's that's crazy. Right, that's thing. And so you've it's seen crazy. This, you've seen this has happened independently many times. Multiple times, multiple times. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, are I you heard this. Familiar with um terminal yeah. restlessness. Um, you are you not? Yeah, no, I am. But I know. I mean, I know that's what what it is. But it's it's still it's not it's not the same. Like it is, but it isn't. Like the the restlessness that like the anxiety thing is like they really do get restless and they're they have to leave. They have to leave and go yeah. somewhere. It's but this is this is them seeing Jesus in the corner. Yeah. Or, or or their or their or, husband or death right or, death. or like you know yeah no well, Desiree Desiree I can back you up um because uh I mean I I I know very very well I know two nurses but I know one who used to work in ICU for like a just for a long long time and 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 over the years that's happened where there are nurses that say that sometimes they'll even feel it feel like a chill in the room. 
I mean, at, at that at that moment, like they'll yeah. realize the person passed and, and they'll feel something different in the room. But that phenomenon of the person saying something like that, I've heard that, too. Yeah, well, uh, Des, if I may, just one sec. Des knows about this. You guys may, may not be aware of it, but there's a phenomenon called terminal restlessness. And, and what it is, is like it's called impending doom or impending doom. But along, uh, same thing. I mean, you know, uh, apples and oranges. But but terminal restlessness is like these people that are they'll they'll be like, I got to go. I got a bus to catch. I got to I got to get out of here. I got to go. I got to go. And then like then an know. hour later, they're dead. And it's common enough that every, I think most nurses will at least tell a story that they've heard about it or that they've experienced. I experienced it with one patient, but my mom, she's a hospice nurse and she's like constantly it's going on. Like they just, they have to get out of there. And it, it, I'm sure it, it's like a, you know, a neurological thing and something in their body says, I'm not going to be around any longer. And they just like, they want to catch a bus. They want to just get out of wherever they are. They have to go get their purse. They have to go. So, I mean, it's, they have to get out of where they're at right now and go get the thing or do the thing. It's a really bizarre thing. <laughs> and I guess the idea is that they would live if they were able to. No, I think it's they're accepting it and they, they but their, last their, thing. I don't their know. brain is going, this is how I deal with it. It's, a, it's, I think it's more of a neurological thing than anything, but it's a, it's, it's fascinating. It, I'm sure you could, I'm sure there's medical journals on it all over the place. There's a lot well, of yeah, people that's that I, live. I was wondering if anybody ever strapped like, you know, anything to these people's and, you know, tested their brain waves or, or tried to do some experiment on it because. Well, that's that's the thing. You don't know it's terminal restlessness until they died. Well, that's what, well right. That's why I don't know if you can just sort of. You but know, there's not brush time. It, it's like an brush hour. it off like it's or not categorize it as, no, it's, as, it's very as neurological quick. as opposed to something maybe spiritual. Well, but the, but again, the the amount of money that it would take to do a study on something like that for something that is very random and not, you know. No, I'm just saying, if there's no such study, then perhaps the spiritual there, is. There might be some journal. Or, I mean, I don't know, but I guarantee there's journals on terminal restlessness or impending doom, as Des says. But I'm sure, but I I just don't know that that any of us could ever know. Well, here's the thing: people that are dying act bizarre. Why? Yeah, um, they tried. They've and, tried and, to measure the weight of the soul, right? Yeah, they, I've heard that one too. You guys yeah. heard about this? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They weigh people right before and after death. Yeah, and there's right. a there's like a, a slight nominal, change. you know, weight difference. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting stuff. Yeah. I mean, the thing with the terminal restlessness. I mean, this is just whatever. I'm not point in any hard hardcore evidence but just personal belief but i do feel like death does manifest itself and i do believe it is a uh i'm not saying it's a a being like i see it sitting in the corner or whatever but you can feel its presence i mean i don't know if you guys have ever lost anybody or multiple people no i'm talking about i'm well sorry i'm gonna interrupt yeah. you mike but i'm talking about people that you don't expect to die no i got that you fine, but, but that are you and me that are we're sitting here right now and all of a sudden i i don't know why but jesus is in the corner but they could be reacting to a presence like, that they're sensing the guy in the corner. there's a guy standing behind me do you guys see this guy? oh yeah i like that yeah look at that guy man you even got the shirt man <laughs> <laughs> I might be dying soon. He's gonna smother me with that pillow. <laughs> but I mean, this is so serious that I mean, what, <laughs> dude? If I hear if I hear a patient say that, if I hear a nurse say that, a patient say that, I mean, we're calling in, we're calling in the priest. They need to get less rights. Like, come on, this like this is like you know enough. This is enough. they're gonna code two night or the they thing? do the next morning or something. It's crazy. The, the thing the, that leads the lens... restlessness is they act like a lot of other patients that are you know doing the same things it, it, it's just it's not a calculable thing 
again, like I said, you don't know that it was terminal restlessness until they're dead. Unless Then you're like, they're ah, oh, that makes sense. right. And in, but unless, but you're talking about a hospice population. I'm talking about a Yeah. population that is not You're not expecting. a, I'm talking about normal ass people while they're sick, but they're not, no one's thinking that they're going to die or trying to treat you or for whatever reason. But if, I don't know. Um, I, one of the theories I've heard with the impending doom situation is the, um, A lot of them that die suddenly like that is from a pulmonary embolism. And so they they act like that because they're so anxious because they can't breathe very well. And that 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 bears a lot of weight because I I personally But it's I, I not all of them that die. It's not all it's not all of them. It's all well others, so too. so my case was this woman. She was heroin addict. She was like she had a colostomy bag and she would like rip it off and she'd roll over. We don't need those details. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, but it, it there's a reason that I'm bringing it up. And she just couldn't stop moving. I got to get out of here. I got a bus to catch. And I'm on a mental health unit. So, you know, yeah, sure you do. You know what I mean? It's like, and then an hour later, she was just gone. I, I went to lunch. And when I came back, they were doing CPR. Oh, not gone. Like she didn't catch the bus. No, no. She No, was she coded. got the bus to heaven. Oh, gotcha. Or hell. I mean, she was a heroin addict, so who knows? But yeah, it's it's a it's a weird it's a bizarre phenomenon in medicine, I guess you'd say. But Did yeah, did you guys ever see the movie uh, Wings of Wings of Desire about the the angels in uh, Berlin? It's a it came out in like eighty seven or something. Anyway, that's why I kind of imagine it. Like in this movie, there's the, it's about angels and they kind of uh, they they're not seen by people, but they kind of like hang over people's shoulders, and like listen to them, and they can hear their Like thoughts. feel the dreams or some shit like that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But that's kind of how I picture... Like I said, I just... I think death is a presence. I really believe that. Like, I... I there have been times in my life where, like, I swear I felt it. Not for me, thank God, but just in, in my space. I I've had a bizarre um feeling that like what you envision death uh, as and what I envision death as are two different Mm -hmm. visages. Yeah. Like for me, it's always this like old Jamaican looking guy just sitting down Nice. at the end of the bus. And it, and it creeps me out, especially Yeah. when you see old Jamaican guys sitting at the end of a bus. <laughs> <laughs> but That's like, why I don't get on the bus but like, anymore. I think, I think if we all were to like stop and think of, if we were to think of death and what it looks like, we've all got our own I'm sure. image. It looks like the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I'm sure it's personalized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like for me, some reason I'm not anti-Jamaican. Just I want Yeah. that out there. But that's the guy I always see. Some guy with dreadlocks and just not even looking angry, just Yeah, it's just sort of there. very matter of fact. Yeah, Yeah, it's not very bizarre. not like or you know, just just there. Not like a cat at all, no. <laughs> so I do want It's to weird. It's like the person that's here to take you. Yes. Like, do if you were to think about death right now, Desiree, what? The Grim Reaper. But what is it? What do they look like? Is The your Grim, they don't have a face. face, or is it just a skull and a hood? It, it's a skull and they don't have a face. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's kind of like how I dream. Is that weird? When there's people in my dreams, they don't have faces. That's Probably. creepy. Eyes without a face. What do you What do you think of like thinking of death right now? What would you say they look like if it was a a person in an in an environment that you're in? What would they look like? It, I mean, again, typically what I, it, it's very ethereal. It's a presence. It's not like a, a form, you know, Yeah, like a, I totally like a person. have a form. I Yeah, like. I don't really have a form. It's more of a presence, All right. Okay. you know? So. Well, I'm clearly placing it on a on a on a segment of society. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh... I'm prejudiced, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's pretty. You, you got to work on that, man. Like, you know, do you have a vintage of like somebody holding a pillow over your head, Yeah, or right. standing Yeah. behind you with a pillow? I wonder, Maybe. isn't that ironic? I wonder how many people have been killed by a my pillow. Like, there's got to be a number, right? Yeah, there's got to be. You're right. I was also thinking, this mask, 
Has anybody ever been killed by somebody wearing a Michael Myers mask? <laughs> I'm sure. Post? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Totally. 100%. I don't... Like a bank robber would shoot, would wear one of those. I don't know. These things are really uncomfortable. Well, you know, you're not really wearing it for comfort. No, I'm not wearing it right now. So, <laughs> I, I didn't find this... I didn't find this story. Why don't you take off the Michael Myers mask? Oh. oh, oh, oh. Um... He should just like draw two like eye holes on the top of his head, and then when he <laughs> leans forward, there you go. Oh man, and it's got hair too. That is bizarre, man. It really was a good purchase. So, I just have to relay this story before Moon Man comes back. Um, <laughs> and this, this is this. It's kind of freaky, scary, whatever. But this is current events. I know we were talking about like current scary stuff, current events. Yeah. Um, this is an article. When was this? Today. Came out today. Um, in Science. It's a good name for a magazine. And the title, Lab Grown Human Brain Cells Drive Virtual Butterfly in Simulation. Could organoid driven computing be the future of AI power? The premise of this article is basically that like the matrix where they were like soaring people remember they said it was like as batteries mm -hmm. right so they have figured out a way to grow human brain cells in a lab okay and the thing that's cool about human brain cells is they can do different they can do um different processes and oh my like god that race disappeared <laughs> and <laughs> The beauty of it is, is they use it uses almost no power, and so what they're thinking of, and I'm looking for the number here. I may just oh, here we go. A point of comparison, uh, they cite the Hewlett Packard Enterprise Frontier supercomputer, <laughs> which operates at 21 megawatts. No, it doesn't work. It's eight okay. Feet. <laughs> um, but these human brain cells, they're able to do these or computations. And the human brain cell pods operate at only 20 watts. So 20 watts versus 21 megawatts. So it's actually a fight. There's a financial motive mm -hmm. to figure out a way to use these right. biological computers because they use so little power. You know, which again, if you look into like supercomputers and things like that, that's one of the limiting factors is the amount of power these things take. Um, and they share right. these brain cells like with I, I need some extra brain cells. Yeah, no, I don't think they can put them in you. Oh. Um yeah. but they, they, they talk about these words, like some and not even get in the whole article, but they say like this opens up new avenues for research into cognitive preservation, which is you know, and mm -hmm. mind uploading. So like Again, neuro, they call them like neuroplasties, like uh, connecting your brain to a computer. Yeah, it makes sense. Being able to upload your brain. Um, and this experiment that they did was they had these human cell, human brain cells that they generated. I mean, they didn't take them from a human. They grew them in a lab. And they made this thing where you could move your cursor around on the screen. And when you got close to it, it would avoid you. And it was all, it wasn't CPU power. It was like these brain cells that sounds were like Neuralink deciding to stay away from it. Um, I think because, you know, alcohol like kills brain cells. So if you, yes. they could bring the brain cells back to life, like Dr. Frankenstein. I, you're right. That would be perfect. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me read this one part um i've got a lot of brain cells that could bring back to okay life. <laughs> here we go this is the last part though i mean it's a long article but this this passage was interesting um uh, how uh, so and so however acknowledged that there's additional traditional computing infrastructure involved that needs to be considered we currently compare CPU versus organoid processing directly, he told the register. We still have energy consumption from supporting hardware like incubators and electrical simulation incubators. They're saying, like, even though the brain cells take less power, they need power to power these incubators and um, life, life sustaining systems for the brain right. cells. We don't have an exact one to one comparison of a CPU versus organoid including all supporting software, but this is something 
we're working on quantifying in the near future. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. they, they're like, okay, we have supercomputers. We talk about robotics. We talk about artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, dude, screw doing supercomputers. Let's just have organic Mm -hmm. computers because they use less power. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. It, it's it, that's it's a that's just scary, man. I mean, I think yeah. it's gonna be gone <clears throat> world right now. Like, so wait, yeah. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be so freaky? Because then we're witnessing it, like just the technological advances in our lives. Just yeah. us, Generation X, whatever, like has happened, right? <laughs> um, and now we're hearing stuff like this. And I remember hearing, like, of all people, we've talked about him, you know, love him or hate him or disregard him. I remember hearing Alex Jones in an interview, and he said, like, the the inner circle powers that are actually, like, pushing all the chess pieces, at the end of the day, what they want is basically not to die. Like, that's what all this is about for these wealthy people. Yeah. And wouldn't it, isn't it just freaky that, that things are already starting to sound like the darkest sci-fi movie that we've been dreaming up since we were kids. Like it's actually looking like it's happening. They're, they're doing it. Yeah, and to, to add on to what Jack's saying, I mean, Elon Musk famously said that the possibility of us being in a simulation is far more likely than not. And that opens up a lot of possibilities. Like that's BS. I don't know, man. I mean, in a simulation, it's not possible. No. Well, just you saying that is just you, the program that's going against it. Like it. Yeah, I think it's a leap. Mind to the 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 possibility that we're just living through something that's been programmed for us. It actually makes a lot of the things that are going on in the world right more right now more palatable. I will say this. I've been looking down at <laughs> you monkeys for millions of years. And you went from like throwing rocks around and now you're making computers out of human brain cells. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> I don't but because I gotta watch it. I can't take my eyes off you guys, but just saying. Oh, by the way, you're welcome for waves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tides. And all cycles of... And for eating. werewolves. Thank you for werewolves. Oh, yeah, you yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, that's been a problem. Yeah, and, and lunatics. And that, and that yeah. fucking lunatics. song, you son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> you know, I really don't like that day when you're full, though. Can you stop that? Oh, the, the one day a month? That's yeah, it's really best. kind of annoying because usually I have to work on that day and it's a bitch. Oh, because everyone oh. comes in. On the psych unit, full moons, man, there's some, there's some reality to that shit. I believe it. Yeah. Well, there's more light so people can see yeah. things better to get in the mischief. Well, well, we don't have windows because we want them to see the outside and also, world, by, so. by the way, everybody, just to be accurate about this, don't blame <laughs> me. It's the sun. I'm just there minding my own business. And the sun's rays hit me and bounce off and hit you guys. I, I'm not uh, generating any of this light, FYI. Just saying. Okay. All right. So anyway, yeah, that was an interesting article Mike was reading about the uh, <laughs> human brains. <laughs> wait. It freaks me out. Wait. Me, Mike? Or Pillow Mike? Oh. Oh, I forgot we got another Mike. So yeah. there's three mics here. There's three mics floating around. Tom, I gotta say, Mike, uh, you're really in. You're, you're holding that pillow, like you really are into this it's character. Comfort animal tonight. Is that uh, is that pillowcase ironed? Is that an ironed pillowcase? Uh, I've I've been hugging it so tight it flattened <laughs> out. <laughs> no, there's a crease in it though. There's a crease. <clears throat> I'm just wondering. Just curious. You know, Moon's got questions. Do you iron your sheets? No. I don't. No. I don't even clean them. Why would you do that? <laughs> so the sheets are going to be like under the, the covers, so you can't even see them, really. Well, I I ironed she I've ironed a sheet or two in my life. But I will say this. When you go, when you take your sheets to the dry cleaners, 
Yeah. Which you don't do often, but sometimes you got to. Yeah. They come back ironed. There is something about sleeping in some iron sheets that makes you feel just a little bit better than everyone else in the world. <laughs> the moon's head bouncing back and forth is very amusing to me. <laughs> Speaking of the Iron Sheik, I, uh, are you guys still watching like uh, WWE wrestling? <laughs> no. Still watching would imply that I ever watched it. He died a little bit ago, the Iron Sheik. I think. Yeah, I heard that. Him. Yeah, no, he was uh he was a worthy adversary. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, there you go, absolutely. Oh, it looks like Steve has a Foz mug too. Oh, I'm a fan of the show. Yeah, man, we got him up here on the moon <laughs> <laughs> with the straw. Oh, lost the straw. That's a bummer. Oh no, rats. Uh, you know another thing we do in the ICU. That um has to do with dead people. Oh. When somebody is um dying and they just won't die. Like because for some for just a lot of times it's because their heart's not bad and they their heart just keeps on going until whatever happens. But you gotta get one bell in there. Oh, well, you gotta open up the the you gotta leave the door open. What? So their spirit can come out. Oh, that's creepy. The door open in the room? What? Yeah. Is that a uh, nurse but an old nurse tale? That's a that's an ICU trick. Ask any ICU nurse you know, they'll tell you yep, they leave that door open. That's amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. I mean it has to get out somewhere. Or else it's trapped in there. Like they don't Do you guys do you guys believe those uh have you ever seen those stories about the the people that died and they like went to hell and then they came back and they told about what they saw no no i've heard the, i've heard about the tunnel and the light and feeling love i've heard that near-death experience story yeah well that's kind of i guess that's like going to heaven i guess yeah i haven't heard the going to hell thing yeah there's some that where they go to hell and they come back well, well what, do, not... what do they what do they describe? Do you know? I don't remember exactly. There's okay. the... like your death experience. Yeah, yeah, but the hell the hell version I've never heard. I've heard the 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 light in the tunnel and the love. Yeah, and then usually there's like some reason why they have to go back and do some more work on Earth or something. Right. Well, my last my um near death experience wasn't like that. I. There was no light, no tunnel, but that whole life flash before your eyes thing, that happened. That did happen. Uh -huh. And it was so, it was like a split second. It, the weirdest, the fastest, like, and it was just like photographs. Like, it wasn't like, it was like the weirdest, fastest slideshow I've ever Is it like seen. if you've been in an accident or you've had something happen where everything slows down? Is that, when, in other words, when people say it flashes by... Is it is it because your perception of time is is slowed down so much? Do you think? It, I don't know. It could have been, but mine wasn't like an accident per se. But I have been in accidents. Well, one was pretty bad, but I haven't really been in a lot of bad bad accidents where like it felt like it was slower. But I mean, honestly, even in like when you fall down, sometimes you'd be like, "Oh, that is this, I'm falling so slow," you know? Like, mm. yeah, 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 that's a weird one. Yeah, yeah. No, I've had that happen. What was your um? Your um life flashing in, in in front of your eyes moment. I think I think Des Des told the story in a previous episode. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Um. I mean, I'll tell it again. I, I sure. Was, no. Go ahead. I didn't know. So, go ahead. Uh, I had an ex boyfriend that took a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so that splits. I mean, that was a split. Jeez. Just it's like the. The sound, like the the trigger sound, kind of was slower than maybe I don't I don't I don't know because that that all I can really remember in that moment was all these photo like picture like things like I, I was just seeing like my life. Yeah. It's like a hyper reflexive memory kind of thing. Like I I get it. 
to bring it down to like a neurological thing, you're you're remembering it slower because it's so like devastating to your psyche. I mean, I, you know, people, and I've never had this happen, but there's people that report that if someone, like if they're being robbed and someone points the gun at their face, that the barrel is all they see. Like you get extreme tunnel vision. It looks huge. And that's it. You don't see, there's no other mm -hmm. detail that you can see. Like, yeah, I, that's, I, yeah. It was like, it was like, that's like kind of what I was like. I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't seeing it obviously because there was, it was not real. I mean, it was just in my imagination, but that right. sound of like that, like the trigger being pulled, right. like was, it was so like loud and resignation it was like resonant that was the only thing i could hear yeah. but i didn't i didn't even have a there was no thought like i didn't even think oh i'm gonna die or what the fuck like i was i couldn't i could didn't think of anything else except for my life flashing for my eyes and this and that that sound just overcoming me it was weird mm. <laughs> but i didn't die i didn't get shot well, thank well, god glad, Desiree. Yeah. yeah obviously Jeez, well, hey, guys, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel I mean, I jumped in here late, so I don't know what I missed. But I mean, we all told the little story. Does that mean do you guys think it might be um, that we've been on for a while? I think yeah. we have been on. For, OK, it's, well, look, I think we've been on for a while. You. Well, I'm the captain and I I think it's time we wrap things up. Yeah, I'm going into another phase. Gotta go to bed. All right. Yeah. All Happy right, Halloween, go. everybody. Happy Halloween. All right. Halloween. All right, guys. Oh, I don't want to hit that. Hold on. The Friends of Zeus podcast. Yes.